Sometimes those bargain PC cases just don't cut the mustard, just like this DIY case. It wasn't good to begin with. So thanks to the folks from Gamdia's computer company, a transformation is in order. So please stay here to see how it all goes. From the get-go, this case arrived damaged, but since then, all the front USB and audio jacks have broken, and even the side panel acrylic was falling off. So a new case and a few simple upgrades, I think this will just make a certain young man happy. And oh, by the way, he is helping build his old new PC for the first time. But first, this is the Talos E1 Mini Tower case, with a trapezoidal tempered glass front panel and a glass side swing door. Additionally, two RGB 120mm fans can be installed with a controller box that connects to a button on top of the case to change the lighting, and that's really cool. This is the Kratos M1 600W RGB power supply, 80 plus bronze, high performance, and with excellent voltage regulation. It is ultra quiet and has built in RGB effects. Last but not least is the Qi1 E1A CPU liquid cooler. It has beautiful RGB lighting, dual rings on a 120mm fan, addressable LEDs, and a remote control. Not to mention, it's going to keep your CPU cool. These are all nice samples from the good folks over at Gamdias. A thorough cleaning of this Biostar H61 MLV Socket 1155 is way overdue. And for newer title gaming, we need more than this Pentium Dual Core can offer. So I'm tossing in an Intel Xeon E3 1230 with 4 cores and 8 threads. A great $30 eBay pickup. So without any further ado, here's Nico in his first computer build. Only problem we really faced was the CPU cooler. You can see all my mismatched screws here as for the supplied screws would not go in the non-tapped holes. Maybe a factory mistake? I'm not sure. But anywho, let's go ahead and break down the specs of this build. Windows 10 Pro 64 bit, Intel Xeon E3 1230, Biostar H61 MLV, 8GB of DDR3 at 1333, Crucial 1TB solid state drive, MSI RX 570 graphics, 8GB and a Gamdia 600 watt RGB power supply. So swapping the dual core for the quad core and the GT740 super clock for the RX 570, I think we might just have something fellas. And there was no problems getting around the Apex Legends map.
and even Far Cry 5. Talos E1 case is pretty awesome mini tower, but what do you do with that old DIY case? Please don't do this at home, we were just having fun and the case was totally empty. And it was, like I said, everything was broke on it. So, bye guys, thanks. Oh!